most students will need help in this holding the violin up because it is hard to find a space that it doesn't hurt your neck or your flesh here where the violin metal will touch your neck. So we could, firstly we can use a towel or cloth, a very soft cloth if you feel like oh it's hurting too much. But as I ask um, my students, uh, she will be helping. Eventually, you don't need it. Okay. So if, if it hurts too much, put one towel here. Put your violin. One, two, three, three. One inches to the left. One inches to the left. Okay. Left, not right. Don't do the mirror. Don't be the mirror of my side. Don't do this. Okay. Do the left side. Have your parent help. See if it's on the left side. Okay. Not this. So bring it. Make it touch your neck. And now if the chins come down. Most students will need help in this. Holding the violin up. Because... It is hard to find a space that it doesn't hurt your neck or your flesh here where the violin metal will touch your neck. So we could, firstly, we can use a towel or cloth, a very soft cloth if you feel like, oh, it's hurting too much. But as I ask um, my students, uh, she will be helping. Eventually, you don't need it. Okay, so if, if it hurts too much, put one towel here. Put your violin. One, two, three, three. One inches to the left. One inches to the left. Okay, left, not right. Don't do the mirror. Don't be the mirror of my side. Don't do this. Okay. Do the left side, have your parent help. See if it's on the left side. Okay, not this. So bring it, make it touch your neck. And now if the chins come and truck your shoulder and drop. So shoulder is relaxed. Violin is in your jaws and collarbones. I know it's quite difficult. You, you should have a shoulder rest. Because if you don't, you can still put like a t-shirt under there, but it'll take like three hours and when it slips off, you have yeah, to do it. Yeah, we used to use the towels. Yeah. So you take it from here first. You use Meanwhile, the... Meanwhile, on the other oh my, side of the world. Um, oh. So oh. we actually start from put, the left hand, right? Yeah, the left hand. So you touch here. Yes. Yeah? And then how you take it out from your chin? Uh, you, oh, you take it the right. Yeah, so it's come very fast. One, two, and how do you put on your shoulder? How did you find that place? Um, actually, I spent some time finding that place because yeah. before it was... Before it was like... Okay, mm. all my friends take it like this for some reason. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. It's really uncomfortable. Please do not take it like this. Ooh, fast, and you can wave because now the one is on with your left hand, you can wave with both hands. Left foot step forward, and your wedding is pointing the same way as the left foot, and then cover here. Does it look like what I was doing, or does it look like this? So it looks like this, bring the one in forward. If you look like this, tilt your head back. Only the head. If you look like this, just turn back to the center. This is somehow complicated for someone already. So uh, I will just turn to see that my spine and my neck is straight. The violin is here. If you don't like to use the shoulder rest, here's the tips. Someone who doesn't use shoulder rest, they have a special ability to balance between the violin. It's not a special ability, so you have to really balance the violin at the parallel with the floor. 
so that's why it will create a nice sounds but not this so with this sometimes somebody have a floppy like this so if you have this floppy wrist you cannot do without shoulder rest you have to have the shoulder rest okay so if you don't use you find it comfortable to not using so make sure that you have the support here 